Hi, I'm Rita Goldner and I'm bipartisan on my YouTube channel. I just want you to get out and vote. But while you're at it, pick your favorite symbol. If you're voting red this year, you probably want to learn how to draw an elephant. And if you're voting blue, I have another video to show you how to draw a donkey. So whichever you feel like, red or blue, you'll find a video showing you how to draw that animal. Just don't forget to vote. Thanks. The only materials you'll need for this project are a red pencil, a black pencil, no eraser, and you can use a marker instead of the black pencil if you'd like. I have a photo reference you can see here and I'm using my red crayon to just outline simple shapes on that photo reference. No real detail or wrinkles or anything. Just squares, oblongs, rectangles, circles, ovals, just simple shapes that make up this elephant. And I use red to outline them. And if I make a mistake or one shape crosses over another one, I just keep going. I don't ever erase. I just keep going. And if it gets confusing, I can use a little X to cross out a line I don't like. After I get all the shapes red lined in, I'm using that reference photo as a guide to make my final drawing on a regular piece of white paper, also using a red pencil. Just copying the shapes as I've made them on the reference photo. Now you see, when I did this, I made the body different from what I really wanted to. So I changed the place of the body on the paper and just put a little X over the ones that I didn't like. And I may make a million mistakes or changes on this drawing, but I don't ever erase. I use the mistakes or the lines that I don't like as a guide so I'll know where to make the line that I do like. Whereas if I've erased it, then I'll probably make the same mistake again. While I'm doing the drawing, I'm going to tell you some fun facts about elephants. And probably the thing about elephants that everybody likes the best is their trunk. The elephant's trunk has over 400,000 muscles and it's strong enough to lift something more than 400 pounds. The trunk itself usually weighs more than 300 pounds and yet an elephant can use his trunk to pick up a coin off the floor. They also use their trunk as a straw, sucking up water, but then they have powerful muscles that close off the top end of the trunk so the water doesn't get into their sinuses. And then they just squirt it into their mouth. So elephants aren't drinking through their nose, they're drinking through their mouth just like everybody else. There are African elephants and Indian elephants. And the way you can tell the difference when you see them in the zoo is that Africans have big ears, big floppy ears, and the ears are shaped like the continent of Africa. Indian elephants have smaller ears. And also, the Africans, both males and females, have tusks. But the Asian elephants, only the males have long tusks and the females have short little tusks that are only visible for a few inches beyond their lips or when they raise their trunk and open their mouth. They also use their trunks as an air snorkel while they're swimming. And they're pretty good swimmers. They can swim up to 30 miles without any problem at all. If they get a little tired, they lay over on their side and float for a while, and then they start swimming again. You can see on my drawing that I've made a million changes, and I'm just plowing on ahead 
putting a cross if I figure I'll get confused on the lines that I don't like. And just keep moving on, moving on ahead and don't ever erase. Now back to the interesting facts about elephants. Their eyes have three lids, an upper lid, a lower lid, and another one that goes from side to side that's clear. They use that to protect their eyes underwater, but they can still see where they're going. People usually associate intelligence, a good sense of smell, and a good memory with elephants, and you're right on all three of those. They can smell a rainstorm approaching from 150 miles away. And as far as their intelligence and their memory, there was a study recently, scientists took a group of African elephants in Kenya. And there were two local tribes near these elephants, the Maasai tribe and the Kamba tribe. The men of the Maasai tribe, their culture, was to demonstrate bravery by spearing elephants. The women of that Maasai tribe never did that. And in the Kamba tribe, neither the males nor the females did that. So the scientists left clothing that had been worn by the members of both tribes. When the elephants found the clothing that was worn by the Maasai men, they would stampede away they would have the same kind of behavior when, when they would just see red fabric even if nobody was wearing it because that was the color normally worn by Maasai men. But if they came upon some fabric or some clothing that was worn by women of either tribe or men of the Kamba tribe, they just ignored it and went about their business. They weren't afraid. So this shows that they remembered the men of one tribe that had speared them in the past and were afraid of the smell of those clothes. But the other tribe that hadn't been a threat to them, they're fine with them. I want to tell you a story about a conversation I had with the zookeeper at the Phoenix Zoo that's in charge of the elephants. I like the Phoenix Zoo and I go down there pretty often with a folding camp chair just to sit and sketch the animals. But that particular zoo I like because they respect the animals and the enclosures are pretty nice and roomy. Anyway, this ranger that was in charge of the elephant said that they never teach any animal a trick to do to entertain people, but they did teach the elephant one thing to do, and that was to lift their foot on command. And the reason they do that is because elephants in the wild have soft plants or soft dirt to walk on. But elephants in captivity are either working on cement or they're walking on hard packed dirt. And so they have a lot of problems with their feet. So the Phoenix Zoo has a elephant foot specialist come in very often and look at their feet and take good care of them. And so the elephant has to lift his foot and show it to the doctor without stepping down. The last thing I'm going to tell you about is the elephant's skin. It looks very tough, but it's not. They have sensitive skin, and to protect themselves against bug bites or against damage, they use their trunks to splash water up on themselves or dust up on themselves to get rid of the insects. So that's your drawing of an elephant. And if you would also like to make one of a donkey mascot for election day, I have that video too. Look on my channel for the video on how to draw a donkey. You learn some fun facts about elephants. And if you like this kind of video showing you how to draw animals, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell below so you'll be notified next time I post a video. Happy voting! Thanks for joining!
So I hope you